Hey guys, so today I am reading a question on our emails and it's about the special treatments that we have at Diamond Shop. So, um, this question is from Janice and she says, I've never ordered from your shop before, so I have questions about the special treatment add-on. Uh, she's looking at Reader's Path and she would like square drills, but um, saw that we have it in a mix of rounds and squares. So to address that first question, we initially mixed rounds and square beads, but understanding that not a lot of people want to mix rounds and squares together, um, we've simplified it and we've made newer renditions of the special treatments where we have only rounds as a separate option and only squares as a separate option. There is a third option, which is for the candy uh, diamond painting, and that uses either electric diamonds, which is in rounds, or also um, basically some fireflies, which we have at the shop, otherwise known as the glow-in-the-dark beads. Since candy is also known as rhinestones or crystals or... Um, crystal art basically so these are the glass type beads which are a little bit translucent not like the opaque rounds or square beads these are round in shape so obviously we won't be putting in any square beads for a candy painting special treatment but we can include any other round uh, beads like the crystals and diamonds and um, fireflies which is the glow in the dark so yeah, we do have it available in all squares if that is what you would like for your reader's path, Janice. So um, you can just go on ahead and check out that product at the shop. Just look at the special treatments for reader's path and on the drop down menu, it will tell you for which shaped beads you would like it in. So just choose the one for squares and that should get you the all squares version. And then for her next question, she says, how does this work? Is there an adequate number of each shape to highlight the painting? Are there instructions on where to place the special drills? If there are odd shapes, how does that affect the placement of the basic drills? Okay, so to answer those other questions that you have, basically, um, when you choose a special treatment uh, for an add-on to your diamond painting, we will include the special treatment beads with your order. We did not remove any of the existing beads that comes with your original diamond painting kit. Instead, we just add to it. So this kind of becomes the enhancement beads that you can use to enhance at your, um, you know, at your own sort of prerogative on how much of the enhancement drills you would like to use or how little of it that you would like to use to highlight your painting. You can think of it like jewelry for your diamond painting. You know how some people like to wear um, three layers of necklaces and you know some earrings and rings and bangles or you can choose to just wear the bangles and um, do away with the rest. So it's really up to you how much of the special treatment beads you would like to use. But we give you what you pay for for the special treatment beads. Um, and then if there are instructions, yes, there are instructions that would be on the actual baggies of the beads that you get them in. So these would be written on each of the individual set of beads that you will get. So if it's, for example, um, electric diamonds, it will tell you where to place it. We don't do a particular code. Instead, we like to have you choose the closest matching color, or it would be, for example, place it like stars, specks in the sky. That way you have a lot of freedom to be creative and to choose exactly where you would like to highlight your painting. If there are odd shapes, how does that affect the placement of the basic drills? Well, we have several diamond paintings that have odd shaped beads. For example, La Lune has got the star gems as well as the where stars come from. Um, we find that a lot of our customers actually enjoy working with the odd shaped ones and basically you kind of just fit them on your canvas and you have to think there aren't any 
circles or grids it's basically like a blank canvas and you're placing your star gem on there and then you're just filling in the gaps in between the points of the stars so that you have the least amount of exposed canvas as possible not only do we do this with the star gems, we also have Kimono by Cathy Delance, which has the flower gems. And these are the yellow flowers that she's got on the painting that kind of acts as a, a 3D effect that makes the flowers pop uh, from the image instead of just having sort of like a flat image you've got now a three-dimensional image because you've got an actual flower that is sticking out of your diamond painting so once again similarly as the star gems these will be placed on the canvas and you basically fill the corners or the outer the edges of the odd shape bead with your regular beads to kind of just um, keep everything snug on your painting so that's how it's done there are videos of this that you can watch on YouTube and um, you're probably seeing it right now as I speak the flower gems these ones but for the larger painting we have lemon pearls to fill in the larger yellow flowers and then the smaller yellow flowers will basically be placed in areas of your choosing so they are just to give a little bit more highlight to your kimono but you can painting. watch the full video to these special treatments the links are down below if you'd like to check that out um, another question uh, that Janice has is is it recommended to order round drills if I want to include special treatment not necessarily although there are some special beads that can only be used for a round diamond painting simply because of its shape there are for example very little crystals that are available in square shape most of the square special beads are the what many call a B beads or the um, Aurora Borealis, which I suppose what an AB is, but basically at the shop we call them pearls. So these are mostly what we use for the special treatments for squared beads. Although we will soon have electric diamonds for square diamond paintings as well, but watch out for that. There's another time to talk about that in the near future. Uh, can I order square only special treatment beads? Yes, absolutely. All you have to do is order that um, upon checkout or you can simply send us an email and let us know personally. You can also write that down on the notes section on your order to make sure that we get the message when you place your order. So yeah, the, I hope that answers your question, Janice. Let me see what else that she has. She says, thank you and hope to hear from you soon. I'm really eager to add special drills, but just not sure how to go about it. So yeah, we've got the videos to act as the instructional manual for you to follow, to have a general um, gist as to where to place your special beads. And if in any situation you're having a difficult time, you can always message us or send us an email and ask for some assistance. And we'd be, of course, glad to be of help in the best way that we can. So hopefully that answers your question, Janice. And if you guys have other questions about our special treatments at the shop or any other questions that you would like to ask, go on ahead and jot that down in the comment section below. And I'll answer it in a similar fashion and just by discussing it and talking to you know to you guys in a video format such as this and hopefully that clears any sort of confusion or any concerns questions queries and whatnot all right that's about it for today my name is Roanna thank you so much for your support um with diamond shop and for supporting our artists as part of the Diamond Shop Artist Collective, we hope you are enjoying your Diamond Shop diamond paintings. We are super excited to bring you guys more promos, more designs, and definitely a lot more fun stuff happening very, very soon. So keep tuned, subscribe, and see you next time.